is a Afus Agarewa. I'm the other son of uh, Mrs. Julia Agarewa. Truly, it was. My mom is no more. My mom was a great woman. She was the pillar of the family. She lived an exemplary life, which is good to emulate. Truly, I know it's sad in her heart to lose an epitome of beauty, a woman with a good heart, a mother of and there is no goodbye from me, just a wish on the resurrection day to see her again in the bosom of the Lord.
everlasting sun, immortal Holy Ghost, be the glory shine, everlasting Father, everlasting Son, immortal Holy Ghost. There is 
if there are any who understand, any who see God, everyone has gone away, all have become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. Do all these evil doers know not? They devour my people as God eating bread. They never call on God, but they are overwhelmed with dread. When there was nothing to dread, don't scatter the bones of those who attack you. You put them to shame, for God despises them. Praise the Lord.
Lord says, Israel came and redeemed him. The Lord Almighty, I am the first and I am the last. Apart from me, there is no God. Who that is like me, let him proclaim me. Let him declare and lay out before me. What an apple sister and salvation of ancient people. And what is it yet to come? Yes, let them foretell what we call. Do not struggle, do not be afraid. I do not proclaim and foretell. It must be told. Is there any other God beside me? No, there is no other God. I know not one. All who may I do are nothing, and the things they treasure are worthless. Those who will speak up for them are blind. They are ignorant to their own shame. Who, who shames a god and cast an idol which can profit nothing? People who do not, who do that we put to shame, such as men are holy rumors. Let them all come together and take their stand, and they will be brought down by terror and shame. Praise the Lord. I declare to you, brothers and sisters, that flesh and blood cannot be able to give up on God, nor does the perishing do any living perishing. This thing, I tell you a mystery, we will not all sleep, but we all be shed. We will flash in the tip of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet is sad. The dead will be raised in perishable and will be changed. For the perishable must close his death in the imperishable and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has been closed in the imperishable and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that the spirit will come to then as the swallow, all the mystery. Ah, where all death is your mystery, where all death is your sin. Of the of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. For time to be the to law, he gives all the victory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Good afternoon. Mrs. Julie Ebara Eraira was born by Lady Mr. Lady Parfrances Omae Awowu of Iko of Yan Northeast, local government, and Lady Madam Felicia Akongia Oyi of Iko Bay, OE local government of Ine State. She attended Owege Primary School, Felicity, and adult education with Christmas. She got married to Pastor Dr. Festo Sayemere Iraeva. The man was fully blessed with eight children, four male and four females. She is also survived by eight grandchildren. While on earth, she was involved in various businesses, including food stuff and lady of clothing, as of industries and general wares. Mrs. Julie Ebara Igareba assisted her darling husband to run his secretary and pretty business, where she gained a lot of experience in organization and managerial skills. Mrs. Julie Ebara Igareba was firm in her resolve to position her family in a proper way through education, security, and good welfare. She contributed immediately to the well being of many persons, home and abroad. Surely she will be missed by children, families, and anybody that has seen and heard it. End of our group is Now, we want to invite our brother, our pastor, the husband, Pastor Dr. Festus, to give us the tributes. God bless you. Who was so? I've come to say thank you. I say no man. 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 I'm not ready to 
tribute. Oh, sweet and lovely wife, my dear, I continue to cherish the meritorious and blessed marital relationship. You were more than gold. You were a beacon of light and a ray of hope. Very dependable, a versatile goal getter and achiever. A great woman who stood by me at the times of thinness and hardness. You were the other half of my heart. You were bold and fearless and truthful. Your faith was wrapped up in James chapter 2, verses 17 and 18, which says, Even so faith, if it had not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thus has faith and have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. You are a wonderful giver and help you lives with so many testimonies. You joined me to raise a strong family and spearhead so many positive roles in my life with lots of ideas and achievements. You are not dead but sleeping. Anyone that sleeps shall rise again. So you are not dead and cannot die, I repeat. You shall rise again in the name of Jesus. Amen. Live home with the Lord Jesus until we meet again, now and in eternity. Your love and dear one, Pastor Dr. Festus Simon de Gariba, husband. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord that allow her to go this hour and take care of you and your children and their family in Jesus' name. I uh, want to appreciate God. God is faithful. I want to appreciate all of you who are here. In fact, you are welcome. So, my dear mother, you want to be to to me. I can't, I don't want to be to you. I I don't want to be Oh, I like this. You always be the of my I love you. I love you. I I love I I my most precious joy. You have been my backbone, my comfort. Woman. You have been the solid rock upon every foundation I have ever laid. What is life without you? I wish one could build me back. I would have dropped a bag. I wish chest could build me back. I would have tied an ocean. One who left me so soon. Death has treated me. Mark continue to bless and peace till he needs to part no more. I love you, Ian and Luke. My tributes to my great mother. You were like a you were like a solid rock that cannot be broken. You made everything and you made everything possible for me. You gave me all you gave me everything and Ever want, I ever wanted, I ever asked, asked for you are my memories, you are my you are my hero, my friend, my only all. I promise to make you cry. Mommy, you are not dead. I miss you. Everything. I wish I could bring back hand of time back. Today is supposed to be my birthday, but what is birthday without you? Life without you is 
complete. I miss you, Grandma. I love you. That's all, Grandma. I love you. Don't worry, God will have away your tears in Jesus' name. Amen. We succeed in your life and your voice in Jesus' name. Amen. choice of his servant that through his voice his soul will be saved this hour and this is a servant of God very humble man of God an assuming man of God that God is using to do mighty things in the lives of humanity shall we stand up as we recognize and honor God our servant of God Reverend Barrister Bright Amadasun with a club offerings. God bless you. Fighting. 
Because some say, before you start, as you are starting, it rain will fall oh, until they bury the person. But the good weather, I believe, said not be rainmaker, they call. We cannot do that. I remember one word that can quote our reverend. He said, You will not die. Believers don't die. Quickly, this very time, I want to speak about eternal life. Luke chapter. Hebrews chapter 9, 27, Luke 18, 18, Matthew 10, verse 30. Hebrews 9, 27, says, Appointed unto man wants to die after death, the judgment. There are many of you that is here today. You just think that this life is forever. But I want to advise you, brothers and sisters, and tell you one thing. That the Bible compares life of man to vapor, grass, as something that does not last. If a man spent thousand years here on earth compared to eternity, it's a waste of time. We believers, we are privileged to be blessed here on earth and also blessed in the world to come. Why we have double blessings. I want somebody to read Luke chapter 18, verse 18 for me. The blessing of a believer is this. As a believer here, yeah, you are blessed. In the life to come, you will still be you will still be blessed. I want to tell you, many of us men of God, we don't know what eternal life means. Please, I'm sorry to say I'm not precise people. I remember when we were very small, we sing one song. Eternal, eternal life. I want to live eternal life. God save my soul. Listen, the day you believe Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you have eternal life. Eternal life is not in heaven. Eternal life starts from the day you give your life to Jesus. Jesus said in John 3, 16, John 3, 15, he said, he that believe in me has eternal life. All you need to do when you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you have three gifts. There are three blessings you are going to receive. Number one, you receive eternal life. Brothers and sisters, number two, you receive the Holy Spirit. Number three, you receive the Holy Spirit. In other words, the Holy Spirit come and live inside you. Praise the Lord. So when we are talking about, what is the third one? The third one here, you gain a position in heaven. What do I mean? You live forever when you are a believer. Listen, brothers and sisters. The eternal life we are talking about is that you have the life of God. Eternal life means you have the life of God. Before all of us were born again, we have that Adamic nature, that flesh to commit sin, that body of sin. But the day you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, instantly you are born again. You receive eternal life, which is the life of God. So brothers and sisters, in that place has to read by Matthew 10, 30. Peter has Jesus. Since we are following you, what are we, what's our benefit? Jesus made Peter to understand that as many that believe in Jesus, that as many that believe in Jesus, false witness, honor thy father and thy mother, verses 21. And he said, all this I have kept from my youth up, that is 22. Now when Jesus heard these things, he said unto him, Yet lacketh thou one thing, sell all that thou hast, and distribute unto the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. Amen. 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 There are many of you here, you are trying to do what is perfect. And you think when you are doing all those things, you will get eternal life. No. Eternal life is not because you have good morals. 
It's not because you have good behavior. Eternal life is through the revelation of faith. That when you believe that Jesus Christ died for you and for everyone, then you have eternal life. Our sister here has eternal life. And she has gone to meet Jesus there in heaven. But before I round up, I want to quickly say one thing. Brother, I'm going to read Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. The reason why I want to read this place, I want to tell you, as we are here now, there are many of us that don't believe that our spirit is here. The believers don't want to believe that. But the other believers believe that once somebody dies, the spirit is still over around. But I want to show you a place in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. The reason why I want to show you this place is that this truth, a lot of us, is not done on us. The very first day I believe that when somebody dies, his spirit leaves him, was when a boy called my attention one day. The boy sat down and was eating. All of a sudden, he could not touch the food. The boy saw his spirit going. He saw his body trying to eat. He cried out and they came to me, Pastor. He said, I'm dying. How do you? He said, look at me going. We have to pray and pray for the body to come back. That is the day I believe that this thing we are watching, when you see the body here, the spirit leaves. I thought that it was a drama. It was there I know that man is a spirit that has a soul that lives in a body. Praise the Lord. So what I'm trying to say, our brother, we, our, the man of God, we read that place. Let us do some explanation. Because the unbeliever, they believe whatever they are told that there is access to. But we believers, we don't believe. We don't believe that when you die, it is over. Brother, it's for us. Hebrews 12, verse 1. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Yes. We are foreseeing we also are compassed about with so great... We are surrounded with... We, we are... We are foreseeing we yes. also are compassed... We are surrounded... About with so great a so cloud great of weaknesses. weaknesses. Let us lay aside mm -hmm. every weight. Yes. And the sin we do it so easily bears us and let us run with patience. Amen. The race that is set before us. Amen. Amen. I read a book by Kenneth Hagin. He said he was privileged to, to see what Paul saw in the third heaven. He said when he went there, he met the sister. His spirit left his body while he was praying. He met his sister that was dead long ago. And the sister told him that they are watching all of us. All these poor, all these saints, they are watching us. Paul, Enoch, all those people that, that they are in heaven watching us. The sister told him, he said, they are not interested in about our achievement. When are your prosperity, your gym, how many members you have in the church? Say, but they are interested about the way you run your race. It's just like when you are when you are in stadium, you see some people running a race. There are a crowd of people there trying to clap for your people when they win, trying to feel sad when they lose. He said the sister told him that the father is in the other side. So the truth that we are going to meet our loved one that we lost. It's not a fable. It is real. He said that his sister sent him, if you go back, go and tell my senior son. He's not doing well. So what am I saying? All eyes are not. The eyes of the saints. They are looking at the way we are running our Christian race. They are not looking at your achievement. They are not looking at your cars. They are not looking at how many houses you build. They are looking at that race. How far you are running it properly. We have a cloud of witness. What the unbeliever will call ancestors. While the eyes of all these unbeliever ancestors, late parents, are on their children, the eyes of the saints are on us. They are watching us. They are marking us. They, are, they clap for us when we succeed. They feel ashamed when we fail. So, brothers and sisters, there is a race. The Christian race is something we must all run. It is easy to have eternal life from the beginning. But to keep eternal life, you must pray by the rule. Our brother read, those things that easily beset us, that sin that make us to fail, that sin that make us to default, he said we should push it aside. 
so that we run this way with patience. Paul said, I have run the race, I have won the race, I have kept my faith. Our brother has kept his faith. Our sister has kept her faith. Jesus said, when he was in the cross of Christ, people were crying. He said, don't weep for me. He said, weep for yourself. Daughters of Zion, don't weep for me. Weep for yourself. So if you will be crying, don't cry for Juliet at all. It's somebody I know. It's somebody I've interacted with. It's somebody I know for some years. It's somebody, when I saw the tribute of a husband, at least we are privileged to see the great pillar this woman was in this house. We are privileged to see how the woman labored. I know them many years ago. If I'm not mistaken, more than 20 years, sir. More than 20 years. I was not a pastor, or I was just starting the ministry when I know these people. They are family, whether there was money or when things were difficult. When they could, I know them, right from Agedo. The woman has run a race. She has kept her faith. So, I want to advise the children. Please, follow the step of your mother. But I know Jesus is who you should follow. But you have somebody here. Look at the, your, your daughter, sir. They should also make sure that the way their mother supports you, they should not be different the way they support their husband. Amen. And we that has not given our life to Jesus, please, I want to advise you. Some of you call it blessing. There is no life outside Christ. There is no life outside Christ. Before you die, this death can come anytime. This death can come anytime. But let us be conscious that heaven is real. Hell is real. Eternal life is now. If you are able to give your life to Jesus now, like I said before, you have the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes and lives in you. You have eternal life. And you have the, that eternal life is the life of Jesus. We Christians, we have the life of Jesus. Jesus said, those that believe in me, he said, God so loved the world, John 3, 16, that he gave his son. What you need to do is to believe in Jesus. Your good work, listen, some of us look at we pastors, we say we are perfect. I'm sorry to say, men of God are not perfect. They are human beings. The day you receive Jesus is the day you receive challenge, you receive temptation. A lot of us say this pastor failed. Listen, many pastors fail. No one is perfect. That is why Jesus told that man, said no man is good except God. But one thing with us is that we know how to run to Jesus like David and lie on the floor and say, Father, I'm sorry. That is, that is what is keeping us. The consciousness that we are Christ consciousness. Whatever we do, we quickly restrain our step and say, Daddy, we are sorry. We won't do it again. So brothers and sisters, if you want to have this eternal life, let us stand up. Stand up. Stand up. You are not going to come to this place. As we close our eyes, just lift up. Just raise up your hand. You know you are not giving your life to Jesus. Raise up your hand. Don't need to come forward. Stand up, everybody, wherever you are, please. Whether you are near or far, stand up. You want to give your life to Jesus. Just lift up your hands. Don't come forward. As many hands that are up, Lord, we pray that you will accept it. As this one who want to confess their sin to you, you say, as many that come to you, you will know what you will know what is cast out. Lord, receive them. Spirit of God, I pray for as many that is bold enough to lift up their hands, that they need to have eternal life. Spirit of God, as they pray now, as we lead them in the sinner's prayer, Father, come and accept them. I'll give my mic to my brother to lead those ones to Christ. Look, look. What my brother has told you is very, very true. 22nd of August, 1988, the Lord took me out of this body. He took me to heavenly Jerusalem. He returned me back. We are being grateful, but just don't die without Jesus. Now that you have actually accepted him as I did, I present you before him. Lord, you have known those who have genuinely made up their mind 
through this message and they have accepted you as Savior, as Lord. I appreciate you, Lord, for their lives in Jesus' name. Now that you have accepted Jesus, I release grace to remain faithful in Jesus' name. Grace to keep to what you have confessed today. Day by day, more knowledge to retain this grace will be given to you in Jesus' name. Satan will not lie to you. You will grow in this grace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And those of you who backslide out of faith and have heard this gospel, the grace will be restored back. As you have made up your mind to restore back, I pray that the Lord will increase your strength to serve him now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for your servant you have used. Strengthen him the more. In Jesus' name we have prayed. If you know you give your life to Jesus, this Sunday that is coming, our church is very close here, just opposite this primary school. What is the name of this your church again? Amazing Lord Gospel Ministry. Invite you to Amazing Dog Gospel Ministry along the Henderson Street. God bless you. Our starting time around now. Come there, the pastor will wait for you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Shall we keep our hands together to praise, to praise Jesus for his goodness and mercy? Please be seated. At this time, we're going to pray for the family, the children, the grandchildren, the family, the members of the family, all that connect to the family. All the in-laws and all the faithful, please want to pray for you. Children, this place is the most recently passing here. Please, if you, have, you want to drive, want to beg you, not drive this hour. Give us this, respect this environment so that God will bless you. Let the children come forward. Come. Want to pray for you. Want to pray for you. Just come. Come, Holy Spirit is here. Come. The ministers are here. The church is here. And everyone that loves us is here. Please come. Leave whatever you are doing. The grandchildren, the children, come. Come. Let the minister come forward. Come. Anyone that wants, only two. Please let me just advise you. Anytime you see the church in motion, don't leave. Don't be disorganized. When I had the short boy, you want to disorganize. Please, never you do so. Please, please. Just keep your spirit. Praise the Lord. We are the divinity. Jesus is in this place. And Holy Ghost is here. I appreciate all of you who have been with us since we started. God bless you in Jesus' name. Please hold your peace and then uh, as we pray together. Uh, the ministers, uh, uh, stand up. They are going to pray one one minute for this children. Starting from my brother. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I stand on the efficacy of your word that says psalm 91 verse 16 with long life will you satisfy this family with decree that will not be their portion every satanic head stretch from the marine kingdom witchcraft kobo we decree it will not stand over this family effect from today up up this family will go the lord will disappoint the the, the, the plans of the enemy we decree you will not mourn we decree long life will be your portion in the name of jesus thank you father for in jesus precious name we pray so dear lord we want to bless you we want to worship you lord thank you for your the life of our sister that left her children lord in your hands lord father please put upon and take control of their lives in jesus name father evil hands will not meet them evil evil food will not enter their mouths what because their mother will not eat the children in the mighty name of jesus as i put them into the hands of god's father god protect them and guide them father for in jesus name i pray
Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, I thank you, O God, for this family. Thank you for keeping them, O God, even up to this moment. We say, be thou exalted, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And I commit this family to your own hand. I ask, O God, for your hand of protection upon them, everyone in this family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Both those that are here right now and those that are and abroad, I ask, O God, for your mighty hand upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Now we perform against this family shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Every tongue against them is condemned in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, I ask, O God, may you hide them, O God, in the hollows of your hands. Fight, O God, all their own sin battle in the mighty name of Jesus. What kill their mother will not kill them in the mighty name of Jesus. But I ask for your spiritual strength, physical strength, O God, upon the earth's man. The grace, O God, to take care of these ones. But I give to him in the name of Jesus. I soak everyone here and those that are blood with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for all your answer. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for the life of your children. Thank you for the departed soul. My God, eternal rock of ages, I ask, let your cover be upon them. In the name of Jesus, as the mighty build around Jerusalem, build your walls of protection around them in the name of Jesus. Lord, your word said in the book of Lamentation 3, verse 22, it said, by your mercy we are not consumed. Lord, I pray, may your cover be upon this family. In the name of Jesus. No more loss. In the name of Jesus. Every voice of darkness over their life expired now in the name of Jesus. Lord, your peace that passes human understanding, let it be upon this family. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Dear Lord Jesus, except a man, except the Lord build a house, he that builded the labor in vain. Except you keep a family, the watchman, the watcher, but in vain. Arise, merciful Father. Their sin will not open door for the enemies against them. The sins of their parents will not open door for the enemies against them. Friends will not lure them to sin that will open door for the enemies against them. What we call their life short, Baba, they will not get involved. I pray for you with Psalm 27 verse 2. No demon will eat your flesh and drink your blood. I speak into the spirit realm. Wherever they call your name for destruction, the Lord shall answer by fire. You will be protected in the day, be protected in the night. You will be protected when going out. You will be protected when coming in. That at the end of your life here on earth, you will also have a place in heaven. Thank you, faithful Father, because none of them will die young. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Our Father, we thank you for this family. This family will, will, will be greater than your parents. You will live longer than your parents. You will serve Jesus. You will be holy. You will be sanctified. I release the knowledge of Christ into your spirit. You will get understanding on how to serve God. And you live in the wisdom of God. No weapon of fashion against you shall prosper. Any tongue that this is condemned. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you will live long life. You will not die premature. You will carry your children, children. In Jesus' name I pray. The grace of God will be upon this family. The sun will not smooth you by day, and I will move at night. A miracle will be registered in this family. Now that's our brother that, wrote, that was reading with hands. The Lord will open your eye one day in the name of Jesus. When I go to Sudan, the Lord be with you. Eh? When I hear her out, my man leave. Make that not a fight to love and ourselves. When I hear. Opazua. Immediately we just conclude this. We are going to Opazua to enter the body. Please, the ministers, I know you know to be a pastor, plenty work. I know you have been paying this price, but let us complete it. And the family, God bless you in Jesus' name. Me here, I therefore two program a day here. The traditional marriage that is going on, they needed my attention, and I'm still going. I will all rush down and take permission. And I will praise the Lord. If I will not see my face there, they will be angry. Thank God it's not true. I will show my face. Praise the Lord. So all of us will go there 
to complete this work. God will bless you. God will honor you in Jesus' name. Now the last item, closing him. To so God be the glory. The letter take this. Where is God be the Let's take another, another song. In one. Give me my hand. Our Father, we thank you as we're about to close. We ask, Father, for your blessings, for your security. Those that are securing us, Father, may you secure them too in Jesus' name. Let there be peace in this environment. We bind every demon that is manipulating gunshot. Father, hold your hands. Hold your, make, let the peace of the Lord rest upon our security agents in Jesus' name. Because they are coming to guide. They are not coming for any evil. They come for good things. Any evil spirit that want to manipulate, separate evil spirit from among them in Jesus' name. They have been taking care of this environment. Father, may you protect them. They need you to protect them. They are protecting us. May you protect them. Because any security that is protecting you needs protection. They are human beings. At that, demons begin to manipulate. We bind those unseen demons that want to disorganize the arrangement. From today, we bind it. You will do this work well. You, nobody will terminate your appointment. You will do it well in Jesus' name. And those of you who are here, you will enjoy peace to the glory of God. In Jesus' name we pray. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now forevermore.
In Jesus' name. Amen. Everlasting Father, we thank you for the departed soul. Thank you for this hour. Thank you for this hour. Let your presence be with us. Let your name be with us. In the name of Jesus. Let your name be with us. Let your glory be made known. In the name of Jesus, have your way and let your will go. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. If you have your book there, go to the last page. Take one away. It says at the graveside. All that needs to be done, that is done. Which is done. Oh God, by whose mercy and soul, by whose mercy the soul of the faithful are blessed. For sake to bless this way and appoint the angel to guide you from every bond of sin, satisfy our body to be buried here with the signs through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Man that is born of a woman has got short time to live and is full of misery. He cometh up and is cut down like a flower. His flesh is as if it were a shadow and never continues to stay. In the midst of life, we are dead. We are dead of him. We of him. May we see of us, but of him. Oh, oh Lord, who for our sin are justly just free, be free. Yes, oh Lord God, most holy, oh most mighty, O oh, most and most merciful Savior, deliver us not the bitterness of eternal death. Thou knowest the Lord, the secret of our heart. Shut not thy mercy, merciful Savior. Thou worthy judge, eternal. Thou worthy judge, eternal. Suffer us not as our last hour of death to fall from thee. this grave is too wide. I don't know. No, 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 Remove that one, put this one. Uh, remove that one. Uh, uh, remove that one, put this one. A log. Okay, it's okay. Alright, it's okay, bring it. Uh, it's okay. Not wrong. Uh -huh. Then don't play for the second one. Sir, it's okay. Yeah, I know what you want. No, 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 Stalin, Maria, I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going to go to
We therefore commit our body to the ground. The children first. It starts from seniority. It starts first of all from the ministers who did this committer. That is how it is in theology. You know what I'm saying? Yes, seniority. Yes, they should pronounce it. Head to head. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Finish it. Air to air, arches to arches, arches to arches, dust to dust. Let's press it. Air to air, arches to arches, dust to dust. Who did the air to air, arches to arches, dust to dust. The next person, the children, head to head, once more. I just want to just once more. Now, go down. Head to head. Ashes to ashes. 
another fellowship in heaven. No, there is another fellowship in heaven. Do you know there is another fellowship in heaven? I know there is another fellowship in heaven.
ke o e pe waya fe wa wa se we do waya fe ya la de ado de ba e bi o yemi ke o ke na o se lo ba ke o de fe no waya fe we ni jesus christ no ya gbo ke be yemi da la wo wo ke o ni ana ipa if we insist e a ke ga ri yoro da ze yen na so bo ka e we ma de bu ke e ke no re re Please note, from now it's five five minutes each. Nala, thank you. Eh, Nala, if you're not here, if you me a fair, we be ready. I will see. I will see if you are a fair, no lady, if you me ready. Oh, la, we go. Oh, see we are a co. Oh, it's a co. It don't be the opportunity. Ne, oh, it ne. I will allow if you me a most of our way ame e ka ame ka na na la wo go na basic idea na na do that way in position for the purpose of camera please na la e fo e se se ai ri yo o se bi wa ya fe o se we la la ti a o pe o isi ko e o fi ne na wa ti e ya o pa Thank you. Please, all friends and well wishers, to please come out with your friends also. Thank you. God bless. If you have another one, we will ask you for that one. We shall be here. If you have your friend, why are you at the why is the amount of the bank you want to wipe your liquidity? Why are you that with position with him? I want to wipe your friend, what he is, what he is doing, 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 what he is doing.
bin da. Bei Freien bin ich. Bei Freien bin ich. Thank you. Nala Wugu, Nala Sifenazi, Awo Sibioma. No Lile, Uvivi, No Jori. Opo Suhen, Esa, Igariba. Awo Sibioma, No Lile, Rinala Wugu, Niyala Dian. Dudi Bey, Zuki, Itu. Wawa Akwe, Wawa Wawudo.